Hello everyone, I'm Hiram Samarkun, a third year PhD student at UNSW Sydney and Gowan Medical Institute, Sydney, Australia. Today I will talk about accelerated nanopore based cooling with slow 5 data format. There are different DNA sequencing generations and nanopore sequencing is a third generation sequencing service. It is particularly popular because of the portable devices they develop as shown in the slide. In nanopore sequencing, a nanoscale pore is embedded into a biological membrane and this membrane is supplied with the voltage. When the DNA strand passes through the pore, depending on its content, the current changes and we store this current as a row signal. The translation of the row signal into ACTGs is called base cooling and the software that we use to do base cooling is called a base cooler. There are different file formats to store row signal data. FAST5 is based on a complex hierarchical data format called HDF5. In our previous work, we introduced LOW5, a simpler flat file format. In base calling, a particular order of execution is not necessary. Base calling can be done in the order the data appear in the dataset. Now, if you think of how raw signals are actually stored in a storage device like a hard disk drive, in FAST5 format, the data is scattered. In slow 5 it is not. Hence, base calling should be faster if data is stored in slow file. To benchmark base calling with slow file, we first wanted to support slow file file format in base caller. For that, we selected Guppy, a base caller developed by the Nanopo sequencing company. Guppy is closed sourced and hence we cannot easily implement slow file support. However, we wrote a wrapper called Buttery Eel, which communicates with Guppy through an API to read slow file files and write the fast queue sequence. Now this is a base calling benchmark done using slow five input and fast five input on four different systems. Each system had a different storage system. We chose high performance computers, one with a parallel file system and a luster distributed file system. Then we have an AWS cloud instance and Nanopore DNA sequencer itself that comes with SSD storage. On all systems, slow file base calling recorded very small, consistent runtimes. However, due to complex structure of fast file, the runtimes varied a lot on different systems and were always bigger than slow file runtimes. Base calling is based on neural networks, hence GPUs are necessary for base calling. In theory, when we use more compute power, the runtime should decrease. To test this, we again ran base calling on four different systems this time varying the number of available GPUs. Slow 5 base calling scaled well with the number of GPUs. In Fast 5, it did not scale well. In this setup, we have eight datasets that need to be base called in parallel. When a single dataset is base called in both Slow 5 and Fast 5 format, there is no difference in the total runtime. However, as we increase the number of parallel base calling runs, slow file shows a consistent runtime where fast file runtime has increased by five times. Our paper on this work is now available at Oxford Bioinformatics and I highly encourage you all to give it a read. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Thank you for listening.